Hi again, welcome to another lesson on reviewing for your fundamentals of engineering exam. This time we're going to do a lesson on the cross product. Uh, the cross product is a way of multiplying uh, two vectors together and the result is a third vector that gives you um, one that's orthogonal to the original two. So if you know how to take the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix, um, this process should be really easy for you because it's basically the same thing. You just have to know how to set up your matrix using uh, the vectors you're given. So I'm just going to jump right into it and let's do an example. Suppose you're given vector A equals 2i plus 4j plus 9k vector b equals i plus 7j plus 3k and you want to find a cross B. Okay, so the solution is pretty straightforward. We have to set up our matrix, like I said, it's a 3 by 3, and across the top row we have I, J, and K. And then um, just the i, j, and k values um, become the next three, or excuse me, the next two rows. So the values for x, vector a will be the next row, and the values for vector b will be the bottom row, like this. And just like when we take the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix, we're just going to copy the first two columns again. So there we go. Now we can make these diagonal lines just like we did with the 3x3 uh, three three determinant. And we multiply. So remember when we go from this way, these values are going to result in a positive product. These are going to result in a negative. And we can't forget to multiply these i's, j's, and k's because those are part of it too. We have to carry those along. So this gives us 12i going this way. The next one would be 9j, and again that's positive, plus 7 times 2 times k is 14k. Now we're going to go back the other way. We have 4 times 1 times k is 4k, and that one is a negative because we're going in the other direction. Remember, minus 7 times 9 times 1 excuse me, 7 times 9 times i, and that gives us 63i. And then finally, 2 times 3 times j, and this is a negative also, so that's negative 6j. And combine like terms, we get negative 51i, that's weird, plus 3j plus 10k. And there you have it. That equals A cross B. So, pretty straightforward. Um, you can do this with any, you know, any uh, three-dimensional vector they can throw at you. Or if they ask you to find an orthogonal vector, this is one way to do it. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned a lot. We'll see you next time.